I know next to nothing about ice climbers. Um, but I will be calling the uh, climber that is directly controlled by Nadia Popo and the secondary climber uh, Nana. Uh, I know sometimes on some screens it switches, but I don't know, that's just the way my brain works. Um, yeah, uh, ice climbers, they're cool, there's two of them. Yeah, more fun. Um, yeah, overcast, force to burn the limit. Down throw fair doesn't connect. Uh, one thing that's kind of weird about ice climbers is the uh, the hit like ooh desync. Um, is that like the hit lag feels really weird? Um, because like every time you hit both of them, it's like essentially like you hit two players, um, which is which isn't really something that people are used to in a uh, in singles. So. Um, that is fine. Nana, I'm going to save. Uh, pretty even game so far. Ooh, overcast. You match a little faster there, pal. Nadia keeping the desync up, but eventually drops it. I need a careful not to get <laughs> I love that he just jabbed once. Ooh, taunt from Overcast. He's really feeling it. Limits online. I'm feeling a blade beam. Oh, here goes the blade beam. Um, yeah. Okay, so Nana's the primary player. Okay, but saying, like, saying Sopo sounds good, but if you, what do you got, Solo Nana? So Nan? So Nah? So Nan? That just doesn't work. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, I think if he had a uh, dash attack here, he would hit. Game, though. Ices are uh, really light, I think. Um, they feel really floaty, so I'm assuming they're also really light. Uh, ooh, yeah, and there's that hit lag that I was talking about. Um, Nana got hit by the last hit, the cross slash, and then Nadia dropped shield, but because the hitbox was still active because of the hit lag, uh, Nadia died for her. Smart cross slash from over there. I do agree with his limit usage there, because uh, he's kind of trapped in the corner. And I think Nadia was looking to, to run up and do some shenanigans, so just kept Nadia out and made him second guess about that. Those up players will take it. Uh oh. Holy smokes. That was a 26% combo. It was just side V over and over again. Limit is online. Even a blade beam. Oh, it was cross slash. Ooh, can him with the forward smash? Up tilt. I'm not sure about that. I think forward tilt there's a lot better because you can send mana back off. But close game. Limits online. Oh, he hesitated. The one time overcast hesitates on a limit. Oh! Popped his shield. That's it. Nana teleports out of existence. As Nadi goes up. So, uh, yeah, that's overcast up 1 0. Uh. See where we go on game two.
Could have run it back to PS2 is my guess. He was in better position for a second, but all the downer barely saved him. Mm. Oh, it's online. It's the cross slash off. I think maybe Nana's dead. No, she's alive. Really smart play from him, that's just go over the D thing. Um recognizes that Natty is just uh yeah, that'll be the first stock over to Urbicast. If he can get any sort of lead with it. He's got limit. He can use that to land. Oh, he tries to breed a roll behind Natty had phase uh phase honest. Don't try to go for anything cheesy. Smart. Shield drop there by Nadia. Not holding shield. Ooh, she was broken again. So I think in that, uh, I might be wrong, but I think when uh, the lead climber's shield gets broken, Nadia might take control of the other climber. Um, I've heard like rumors of that in the past games, so I'm not sure if that's a uh, that's the case. If someone, could, if someone knows, let me know. But... Again, Nadia down to just the Soko, or the, I guess it's Nana, but solo climber. And uh, that back air will clean up for overcast, and Nadia gets his Nana back, but the cost of a stock. I'll throw into up air, not gonna kill. Overcast does get little bit off that too. We'll have to burn it on the up air. And uh, yeah, the first hit one climber with the forward air, but the up smash was already on its way. On the second one, it's the cross slash off on both. <laughs> Scary situation for overcast. Does magnet hands to ledge. Nadia didn't do anything to stop him. Could have been gamed on Nadia right there, but Wilcast's still alive. Na uh, Nana, or I guess backup primary, whatever you want to call it, is at pretty high percent, I think. Um, a little bit higher percent than the solo climber. That's not safe. So, uh, game two goes to Nadia. It's currently a 1 1 in the set. So, you're getting a, getting a pretty good set.
Okay, so we're in the game three on Kalos. This is Overcast counter pick. Um, starts off with the blade being very uncharacteristic of Overcast. Not usually one to, to projectile spam like that. I'd like to apologize to the viewers on the app. These reform two will be better. Oh my gosh, it did. So disappointing. Uh, I like to start from Overcast, he's got a lot of pressure. And, uh, there's a re-grab, but he had a good punch on him. He's got Nadia Force in the corner here, which is good. Back of Climber's dead. Should just call it. Okay, so... And Overcast takes game uh, three game three. So Overcast up two one in the specifier. Ah uh, yes. Commentary switch. Um, I catch the end of that game. Um, by all means, go ahead and then. Usually in between the games, you want to refresh and catch up. Uh, because the stream is now behind, uh, quite a while behind, um, due to that, uh, I don't know what you call it, like, frame drop, just a horribleness. I realize you guys won't see this until you're in between games, but hopefully when you see it, good. Refresh. Going into game uh, game four now. Going past up two one. 
Well, that's interesting. Hold on, I want to check this If you interrupt um, Ice Climber's uh, side beat and you only hit one of them, uh, the other one falls out of it. That's cool. I guess it makes sense because they're like linked in their side beat together. I thought it would just, the other one would just continue to side beat. Ooh, Overcast doesn't get the punish. Maybe an F up there, just to guarantee a punish. Not enough stock actually, because that's the uh, the backup climber. But yeah, let me start calling the climbers uh, backup and chief, as uh, Bobby Scar the legend would. Um, so chief, uh, hanging on solo chief now. Backup is out of there. So that cleans up the stock. Now you can get the stock with just the chief climber. Um, yeah. Ooh. Nadia somehow makes it in between hits for the board time there. game so far, but uh, I think Nadia's got the slight edge in this one. Ooh, watch your shield though. We can pop that twice this time. Solo Chief. <laughs> yeah. I don't think Overcast needed to up be there, but he did anyways. That's Broken Shield. Yeah, I think Nadia does get control over the other climber. When, uh, when that's what you get, when the shield breaks. Hmm. Cross slash hits. Back at climber. Oh, it's night. So, uh, your shield now, you get so low. Like Overcast is just gonna F smash it once and break the shield. If he can land, he'll be on top of him. Yeah, that little burst of aggression there gets Nadia's the shield replenished. Really nice. Again, I think Overcast could have just double jumped back to life and stable limit, but he had to use it, so. Good air dodge. Uh, keeps him alive. Able to kill the backup climber. Backup climber percent a lot higher than regular climber. Ooh, almost had a decent kill for Nadia. So. Um, Overcast is really tiring and cheap climber a lot in this matchup. Um, <laughs> that ain't the most Overcast win. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. But they, the, um, the finish charging limit into instantly blade beam the opposite direction. Overcast oh, classic. We're gonna be going to game five though. Going to game five. Uh, see what stage we go to.
This is game five. Which means it's hype. So everyone get hype for the game five. Counting cities to pick. Desync. Oh. oh. Um. Yeah. Both players playing a lot safer this game. Um. But you see, Overcast just run over to the other side of stage like that. Uh, we did not see that last game. Uh, very. Or the, the whole set really has been pretty aggressive. I feel like that'll come back, um, just kind of the start of the game five. You see a little bit of a more passive start. Hmm. I, mean, I had the decent go in there, but often to just go with the pressure on the solo climbing. Cast got a limit online. Ooh, the cross slash doesn't quite find the mark, and Nadia cleans the stock up with it and, and hunters. Again, I think back of climbers presents a lot higher here. Might be able to get him down to solo chief. Yep. Down to the solo chief. And just to clean that up, only 42%. Oh, uh, Limit is online for overcast. Uses a blade beam, catches the back of climber. Shields low on chief climber. Goes for the finish and touch doesn't connect. Well, it gets the forward smash on back of climber, but Chief Climber answers back with his own forward smash. Nadia holds shield into that forward smash. No, it's not gonna break the shield yet. Oh, up tilt multi hit blank with the forward smash and got Nadia out of a really scary situation. Looking not impossible for overcast, but uh, he needs to he needs to find a way to get some percent and just survive. You know? Ooh. I've seen him win these, but man, this is tough. It's the cross slash onto the front climber. Gets clipped by the side B. I want to see him play safe. Put the F smashes away for now. I like what he's doing, just the dash dance. Throwing out something safe, dashing away. Not a couple of blade beams. Playing it really fast. He's playing so carefully, and he just ran and dashed.